frost. Sea of blood. Fight! Fight!
Melina wins. <laughs> Frost Chronicles Keep Round One Fight.
fatality. Melina wins. Melina Shao Kahn Cyber Lin Kuei Assembly Fight.
fight. Fight! Fight! <laughs> 
fatality. Melina wins. Scorpion. Melina. Frost. Shang Tsung. Tank Garage Bunker. Ugh. <sighs> 
fight! Already taste you. Melina wins. Noob Saibot Wuxi Dragon Grotto
fight. <laughs> Cybot wins. Aaron Black, Melina, Tournament. <laughs> Round one, fight. Yeah! <laughs> 
Melina. Melina. Shinnok's Bone Temple.
Fight!
Chronicles Keep. You are also born of the flesh pits. We are alike in every detail. Then I know exactly how to take your life. Round one, fight! <laughs> Fight!
die less easily. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Round one, fight! <laughs>
Melina. Melina. Tank Garage Bunker.
Fight! Melina wins. Fight. Oh! <laughs> 
Fight! <laughs> Melina wins. Fight! Melina wins. <laughs> Melina Sub Zero Melina <laughs> Tournament.
another sister. There are more like us. There were. Round one, fight! Um, Alright, my mic is working, is on. Uh, yeah, um, Shanghai Barbie, I appreciate the games, it was fun. I need to lab Melina's frames as well, they didn't do much practice with her. Um, me personally, I. Um, the frames is important, but I, I'll just play it based on feel. But labbing is definitely something we all need to do. Since she just came out, when you think about it. Um, I need to get better with um uh I don't know there's certain things I need to get better on with Melina myself and also um going through combat league just playing Melina strictly Melina has helped because she's now better than my Jade Kitana and Sindel because I've never with them characters I've never gone through a whole combat league without switching out the character or counter picking someone whereas with this melina i i don't even have to counter pick um i could just use this 
Carnum Dash variation of Melina throughout. So um, I would like to get to Elder God, but I don't know if the, I'll have enough time because the new Call of Duty season just started, and um, I'm still doing stuff on Cyberpunk. I need to um, grind some Black Ops as well before I stop playing it, but I'll get to God rank and that'll be a accomplishment because I said before the DLC came out that I will get to God rank with um, Melina strictly Melina so yeah uh, the skins is, is is definitely something you, you need to get man like they pop up in the store every now and then but it's never like guaranteed when it will be there so yeah that's the thing especially the one that was in the race against time I feel like I played Melina better than my Kitan and Sindel and J2. Yeah, exactly. Because you know what it is? I think Melina, she, the way they made her was like a mind game type of character where she has all the tools that you need, but she's not like overpowered in any area. She's not got mad damage and she hasn't got a bad mix up. She's just very versatile, well rounded. She just needs like some adjustments and tweaks here and there, and then she'll be completely perfect, like with her hitbox issues and whiffing, and maybe slight damage increase on some things here and there. But it's it's it's, it's such a good such a good character because you need to think like um, I used to play Jaded Jade a lot. Carnum Dash Melina is like five times better than that. Uh, I got thirty three forty four. Right now, I think she matches my playstyle because she has a lot of tools and missiles. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, it's unlocking the best situations on how to use them. Then, like, things just start to flow so, like, nicely. It's almost like um, doing, like, a big, long combo with certain characters like Kitana. Like, it feels good when you do it. When you get someone into certain mix-ups with Melina, it's just sick. And I prefer the condom dash over the ball roll because, like, the ball roll, you can break away from it and you're, um, you know, punishable. And if you ball roll in on block, you're punishable. So I think the ball roll in the past games, like MKX and MK9, was fine because you can't really break away. And even if you do break away, you can't punish Melina straight away. Whereas in this game, you can punish her. So, you know. Yeah, I was about to allow the kind of dash. Yeah, you should, man. You should. I mean, I'm um, I think I might be one of the the best condom dashes, uh, because I've been playing condom dash from when it came out, when everyone was playing the normal ball roll. I was playing condom dash and um, in the leaderboards as well. Right now, there isn't no, there isn't no. From what I can see, there's no Melina Carnum Dash players except for me. From what I can see, anyway. So you know, I need to. I need to definitely improve. I definitely think I can get to Elder God next season, though, because this season is more like training. Like it's just like the character just came out, seeing what she can do, and all that kind of stuff. So next season, it's just gonna be crazy. Today, I fell in love with uh, Sh Shiva. Abdul, what's good, man? Literally the best. I don't see any one playing it like the way you do. Yeah, exactly. Like it's very rare you see a Carnum Dash Melina um, player like Deep Sisters versus. Where's the leaderboard for the Combat League? Here we go. So, um, like in Demigod right now. There's not that many Melinas, and this was something that surprised me because remember in when the Comet Pack Two was announced and stuff, I was saying that people shouldn't just like um, play the Combat League. Just, just they should all play it just to get like the gear or the skin that they want, and then stop because if there's so much Melinas at God ranks, then um, they'll make the Melina skin like a God rank skin. But if you notice, there's not many Melinas. There's not many Melinas, and surprisingly, all of these Melinas, none of them play, none of these Melinas play, um, um, it's two things, they, they, they don't just play Melina, they switch out the character to counterpick, and they don't play, 
um, Khan Dash. Like for example, let's see. Let's just use True Hunter. True Hunter doesn't use Carnum Dash. I know that for a fact. So let's use the next one down. Let's let's see this guy for example. I uh, I love Custom Shiva. Custom Shiva is 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 very 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 good. Now straight away, uh, speaking of Shiva, straight away this this person doesn't just use Melina. She this person uses Shiva as well, and I guarantee it's not going to be Karnam dashing. I don't um a lot of Melina myself. Yeah, I it, it it's not often that you play with them, and I think it's because people don't like the fact that she doesn't have big damage. When the truth is, the game isn't not is not about how much damage you can do. Round one, fight. So, let's see if this person is a uses Karnam Dash. So he's using Scythe Ride. Uh, this person doesn't mind using Teleport or at all. Surprisingly, he hasn't full rolled yet. Though. Here we go, full roll. So, um, yeah. Good evening, folks. Good evening, Raikai. What's good, man? I'm actually about to end the stream. Yeah, this one really isn't damage crazy like MKS. Yeah, like the 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 um. Like even with the Carnum Dash, the most amount of damage I can get with Carnum Dash is like forty-seven percent. But again, I don't think this the the game is about um how much damage you can do. It's it's more so. Um. It's more so about how well you capitalize on situations in the game, in my opinion. So let me let me just quickly check God rank. So this is this is this is what I'm saying. Like, there's not many. Not only is there not many Melinas at these ranks, but none of them are Carnum dashing. Like I am, I think I'm the only one. So there's Jersey Devil. This guy. Look, there's no Melinas. None. Look. No, none, no Melinas at all. There's what three Melinas at this rank in MK11. She's more toned down. Imagine Khan Dash plus Ball Roll, dangerous. Yeah, that would that would be crazy. That would be crazy. There's only 19 Elder Gods. There's one Melina. Tweedy's up here, I'm sure. Yeah, two Melinas. There's two Melinas at Elder God. Tweedy does not use Khan Dash for a fact. This guy doesn't use Karnam Dash either. But let me um not only does he not this person not use Karnam Dash, but the person um he doesn't just play Melina as well. So you know as soon as I get to God rank I'll officially be the only one let's see did I check this already no I didn't yeah this person doesn't just doesn't play doesn't just play Melina as you can see this person plays Kitana and Jade Jersey Devil, I know for sure. Plays Melina, but it's not just Melina. This person plays Cetrion and Sindel. I'm literally going through this whole season just playing uh, Melina. I feel like in MKX, Melina, since she was so fast and rushed down, people mash 
with her a lot. Yeah. She was goofy. How many character towers have you completed? I haven't done no character towers. There's no need. I've there's nothing in the character towers that I need. Um But yeah, MKX to MK eleven, they they are two different games. The MK eleven is a bit more tactical, whereas MKX was more um I guess a a bit more frantic in a way, I think. So um So yeah, you know, that's that is that. That fact before I end before I before I end the stream, I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase um how to do the miss me combo with Carnum Dash Melina. Just to just to Melina. be clear. Spawn the Terminator Retro Cause I um because I, I get that I get the question a lot, like, oh, um it's not possible to do this this combo with Melina. Well I'm gonna show you you can do it with Melina's Carnum Dash variation. You don't need Ball Roll to do it. People seem to think you need Ball Roll to do what I'm about to do right now. I think I'm doing it too early. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> but this is how you do it. It's very easy, actually. That is how you get the miss me combo. Let me do it again. And I'll even tag it. This is the one. Crashing blow triggers in a combo of seven or more. People seem to think, in particularly Melina players, seem to think you can only do this with ball roll. Let me do it again. As long as you hit that forward one, you got it. it's, it's easy. I didn't know that one one come out. As long as you hit that forward one, you get it. So that's it. It's, it is actually easy to do. Uh, you said nothing, but you did complete Melina's. I assume, I mean, uh, how many character towers did you complete? Oh! How many character towers did I complete to get the Melina skin? I, I think I did 70. I think I think I did seventy character towers to do that Melina, to do um to get that Melina skin. Uh, so uh, you know, and it's like right now I'm only doing Comet League um, to get the time crystals because I have a feeling the new Melina skin is going to pop up in a store any day now, and I don't have enough time crystals like right now enough to get it because it'll be 700 time crystals and i don't want to buy more time crystals i want to just get it from in game so be on the lookout in the store because any day now that new melina pet set of skins is going to come out in the store and it's going to be 700 time crystals i've got 545 so when i do a set when i do to comment league tomorrow that will be um 600 then i need to do two more so hopefully the skin comes out on tuesday or monday because i'll have enough i'll have enough time crystals then uh, that was nice oh, i appreciate it, man but yeah right Kai, that's that combo melina players in particularly believe you can't do it unless you have ball roll i just showed you you can do it without ball roll <laughs> um so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, definitely um, play, play. Um, what do you call it? I'm definitely gonna be playing MK here and there since the new season of Call of Duty just started today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to Twitch and. Um, I think I want to grind more on Cold War first. 
I'm going to grind on Cold War first because I want to get my sniper gold before I start playing it and then I'll have gold sniper on uh, Warzone. I got a 4,000 crystal save from since the game came out waiting for Melina. Okay, that's smart. You're a smart guy. Um, I started at, because um, I had like loads of time crystals. I even bought some time crystals. Uh, it was around the time where they the, the hope for Melina coming in the game was like um, there wasn't much hope left there wasn't much hope there so um, I had all the skins that I needed for Kitana and Jade and Sindel so I just started spending the time crystals on just some of the stuff that I needed uh, n um, so you know uh, I played Melina in Demi and even thought you needed Boro I learned something new. Yeah, you, you you don't you don't need ball roll like ball roll. If you do ball roll on block, you're gonna get punished. If you if you do ball roll and you miss, you're getting punished. If you do ball roll and it connects, you're getting punished. If they break away, it's not like MKX. Um, I tried to earn time crystals, but I can't beat the gauntlet. Oh my god, you still got the gauntlet. Oh my god, you should do that. That is so much time crystals in the gauntlet. In the gauntlet, it's easy. Just use um, distilled magma and um, uh, distilled magma, crystals of life times two, and um, oh, what is that consumable called? There's something radio consumable. The one that drops the bombs, just use that. And that's that's it's easy wins. I'm stuck on that one with Scorpion versus Sub Zero and the ice keep freezing me. Oh yeah, that one was annoying. I wish I knew what I knew now then, because all you gotta do is Crystals of Life times two, distilled magma and um remote controlled radio, I think it's called. And um it does mad damage and if you take damage you use the crystals of life to give you back health and it's easy man Boro is a shadow of what it it was uh, yeah you know what it's not you know when you really think about it it's exactly the same it's just the game has changed that's all it is it's the game has changed some people even think Boro should be a low it's never been a low you know uh yeah, Boro punishes you bad for misses, exactly. Whereas Karnam Dash, you don't get punished hard for missing. And if you believe someone is going to block, you can cancel out of it. You can't cancel out of Boro. Boro is kind of useless if you think about it. Exactly. Like, there's been so many Melina players, like the very few that I do go up against in Combat League, that I've beaten with Karnam Dash. And they're probably, they. I'm pretty sure they're thinking, oh, he must have accidentally picked Karnam Dash. No. I know exactly what I'm doing. This is the more superior, um, the more superior uh, variation, I believe, because it um, it caters to what how NRS designed Melina in this game it's perfectly. Like I I I'm pretty sure when they made Melina, they obviously gave her the ball roll and all that stuff, but they specifically designed the Carnum Dash playtime and Stabby Scots. Um, for this variation of Melina, and then they made the others like they did the side slide, they did um, air teleport. That's a given. Then they did the air sigh, and what's the other one? Low sigh, and then that's it. Even low sigh isn't as good um, as it should be, but you know, uh, what I mean is the ability to use it to punish whiffs. Now, ball roll gets hit by whiffing strings. I used it to anti air with it now oh yeah you're right yeah that's true i used to do that as well yeah it used to be a perfect anti air it used to be i'm literally the only one that know that raiden combo that i found oh yeah i remember you talking about the raiden combo okay you walk through that's uh, a custom variation i mean my custom variations is 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 pretty it's pretty simple really it's stabby scotch kind of dash and playtime reason why um i have playtime is because that uh, with carnum dash you don't have no launcher so your damage is going to be decreased so i have playtime in order to add to the mix 
add to the mind games and for more damage from that extended um, throw string from the things that the Carnum Dash does. Uh, sorry, from what Playtime does. Not only that, you get a restand as well. So the restands are really, really handy to have now. So that's why I have Playtime. Stabby Scotch, again, it adds to the... Um, it adds to the mind games. They can't tech from the from from it, and um, you have to jump or you have to jump or duck it. There's no other way around it. And it comes with a crushing blow, which I would desperately need because I've got the Carnum Dash. Rolling Thunder is good. I've got a variation of Rolling Thunder. It's this one. Uh, rolling Thunder, Side Slide, and Playtime. Um, rolling Thunder. It's it's good because um, you just you get more damage. You get you get you get a bit more damage when you use it, as opposed to the normal um, uh, ball roll, and that's pretty much it. And you can, um, I believe, you can ball roll all the way full screen with this as well. So that's why. That's why I, I, I like it. Side slide is good because you get the crushing blow with it and it's good for wake ups. The main thing about side slide for me is the fact that it punishes wake ups. What I'm doing now for wake ups usually is um, I'll just shoot two projectiles and then I'll just try to get a sense of what kind of wake up the person's going to do before I do something else other than shoot projectiles. One five turns ball roll into a good anti air. Yeah, that's another good point actually. You can anti air with this as well. So, oh, and it also can evade low projectiles. That's another thing. If used correct, if used correctly. So yeah, that's that's rolling fire. I like how they gave Melina grappler variation, but I don't like how she really uses her teeth. Yeah, now that I think about it, she does really use her teeth. I'm uh, like she bites you. On her um, forward throw. Oh, you, you know what it is like. She does bite you in a forward throw, and she bites you on her fatal blow. Because I used to love sadistic ways move, what she had in MKX, and um, her, some of her ravenous moves. What they basically did is they combined all of those in one for the fatal blow. So I'm cool with it. Uh, rolling fun is pretty good for jumpers to anti-air them and yes you can roll full screen yeah exactly so you know and another thing you got to think about is this is like basically tournament variation so this variation was made by nrs specifically and it makes sense as well because this make this is the i think this is the best one i i, I really think this is just the best the best one or for my playstyle at least. The other good play um um the other good one I think is this. Teledrop, air teledrop, air, air sigh and stabby scotch. I think this is really good. Um This is this is kind of good as well actually. Stabby Scotch, Vanish and Low Sigh. Maybe instead of Stabby Scotch it can just be um uh Carnum Dash, but I was just thinking Stabby Scots comes with that um crushing blow. Cause I'm thinking if you if you if you vanish, the person won't know the difference between a normal throw and a command grab. So um that could be swapped out for Carnum Dash because I don't know if you guys know this. But if you Carnum Dash and use Vanish, the, 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 the faded purple smoke disappears completely. You can't see it. Man, I'm still waiting for Kenshi. They have another combo, combo uh, named Sadistic Ways. Yeah, but, uh, but I don't think it's called Sadistic Ways. It's called um, Sidistic Ways, I think. I think, yeah. I have to try it, Vanish. out. Oh, I never used it yet. Yeah, this... I mean, let me let me show you that that basically, I I think yeah. 
I'll show you. Uh, I'll show two two things real quick, actually. That some people might not know this, but you know how when Melina does um. Melina. When Melina does um. Melina. When Melina does her uh, stabby slots command grab, you, you might be thinking she's just stabbing the the, the uh, person's head, but she's actually not. She's actually playing a game called uh, Finger Fillet, um, Five Finger Fillet, or um, the game is actually called Stabby Scotch, where she pokes through her fingers really fast, and then if you amplify it, she checks her fingers to see if she stabbed herself, and then she stabs the person. Let me show you. Let me show you that first, actually. You see? Like, she's actually playing a game. She's stabbing f between her fingers. It's just like in uh, Red Dead Redemption. You can do that in Red Dead Redemption. It's um, called Five Finger Filling. It's so sick. Um, but yeah, let me sh show you the vanish thing. Um, the thing with vanish though is like... It's like doing it is kind of tricky. Because it's up down. mad it's like a weird I don't like this button in here it's a weird button input man I'd have to get used to it So it's better to just do it to not do it raw. Yeah. It's best to just not do it raw. Really? It works with whole block. I don't know. But it work it, it, it seems to to work off of something as opposed to by itself I don't know man I'm holding block. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Hold on. See, like after a dash, I could do it. After a dash, I can do it. Oh, hold on a minute. So. Let me go full screen. Um. See that you can't you can't really see it. Can you amplify this? No, you can't. But the thing I don't like about it is um the thing I don't like about it is um the fact that it's a 
it reduces damage. So let's just say I do that. That's 110. Um, look at that. It reduces the damage of it. So why would you want to use it? It's not, it's not a big reduction of damage reduced, but I don't know, man. Like, and this will just annoy me. Like, if I just want to do it, like, I'd have to practice this. I would have to practice it so that I, n so that I can just do it every time. Like... Like there. Okay, I, I think I got it now. I don't see the point of it. I don't see the point of it. Because you can get shot out of it. I think you can get shot out of it. See, look, you can get shot out of there. Why do I keep doing that? Yeah, you can get shot out of this. If 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 it made you invulnerable to projectiles, then that would be something. But you, it doesn't. Oh, damn. That's it. Yeah, you can get hit out of it physically as well. So I, I, nah, it's not. It's uh, yeah. Vanish plus fatal blow is scary for the opponent. Yeah, that's that's definitely something. That's definitely something. But then that means you've taken so much damage that you're at fatal blow territory. Oh my god! Matter of fact, matter of fact, that's giving me an idea. Believe Let me see how much damage it does. If you have fatal blow, let's just say, let's just say, you um, you got fatal blow, right? Let's just say you got fatal blow. You do vanish and you do fatal blow. Let's see how much damage the fatal blow does because it says it reduces damage. So then I don't really think it's something worth having. So let's do this. So you basically come out of the vanish when you do it though. 330, right? And this is how this is how much it does without doing vanish. So I've been like range water shield that goes through attack. Yeah, that's exactly what it should have been like. 330. Did it do the same? I can't remember now. Look, you come out of vanish when you do fatal blow. When you do fatal blow, you come out of vanish. So essentially, the person just has to block. Thankfully, it does the same. It does the same damage. You don't really. You, you're not really vanished for too long either. It's a decent amount of time, but it's not. I don't know. It's 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 not worth it for me. And Melina doesn't have enough abilities to switch out of. Like, Air Teleport is far better than Vanish. That is very something very handy to have. Air Sai is good off, off Jump Kick. And people who jump in on you, but... So is Air Teleport, and Air Teleport does more damage, but Air Sai anti-air is slightly better. I, I prefer the Air Teleport. I prefer, I prefer that because the person then has to think, are you going to do a jump in two a jump in one a jump in or teleport so they have to think about three different things that could happen si um 
I could anti air with just a normal regular Psy. So it's like against certain play, certain characters like Jackie, who's in the air a lot, Kitana, and um, even Jade and Cabal. The air that that's when that's when um, what's it called? Air side comes in handy. Yeah, that's when I think air side comes in handy when um when uh you go up against specific characters and the good thing about this this version of the game that it is right now currently is you get to pick well you get to like have variations for certain things like you can have just an air based Kita uh, Melina variation with an air side air teleport and uh, I don't know rolling thunder. I think I've got a variation of that. Matter of fact, let me see. Yeah, it would be this. But with Stabby Scotch. But the thing is, air teleport, air drop, they don't have crushing blows. But yeah, I'm going to take off Vanish on this one. Now that I've just left it real quick, um, I'll take off Carnum Dash and have Rolling Thunder and that. So I think this is like an anti airing. This is like an anti airing set of variations. You got, well, not low Psy. You got Air Psy, Air Tele. Drop, teleport and rolling thunder. Surely I got low side on one of these. Uh, rolling thunder, air side. Um, this one I'll take off air side and have low side. I think my my variations are complete now. What is better variation? Rolling Thunder, Stabby Scott's Playtime, or Air Playtime and Stabby Scott's Air Side Playtime, Stabby Scott. Rolling Thunder, Stabby Scott. I think Rolling Thunder, Stabby Scott, and Playtime is better than Air Side Playtime and Stabby Scott. Rolling Thunder, Stabby Scott, and Playtime is better, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Air Teleport. Because like to do the teleport, you gotta press down, down two to do it. I like the fact that with the air teleport, you you can't see the the the, the button inputs that the person is doing down, down before doing a teleport. You could just do it in the air, and it's like they have to they have to think: Are you doing the teleport or not? They 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 don't know. But that ends the stream. Um, if any of you like Left 4 Dead, uh, the new Left 4 Dead, Back 4 Blood, um, is going to be out in two days. I have I have alpha codes for the game. Um, so if you if you if you are, if you're on PC and you want to play the new um, Left 4 Dead called Back 4 Blood. Um, um what do you call it i'm gonna do, i'm doing a giveaway for it so if you are a member of my of my uh memberships club um join button is underneath every video it's underneath this stream right now uh you will be entered in the giveaway for it you have a better chance of winning it if you are part of my members club and or if you follow me on twitch because uh I'll be giving it away there and what I'll be doing is I'll write a number down on a piece of paper and whoever can guess the number right gets the code. That whole block thing does work. Yeah, it does surprisingly. I get I, for, I think I'd have to um I'd have to like really test, well not test it out but like get used to it. Uh 443 ball roll 4434 four, 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 Savage Cuts is a strong armor break. 
combo. Yeah, it is. Especially uh, four, three, f forward three, f four. I prefer I prefer just standing three, four, stabby scotch. Personally, by the way, if you guys didn't know my eyesight is very bad, I can't see well at the moment. Uh, and the reason Kenshi is my favorite more quiet character along with Raiden. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, Raiden has good eyesight though, and he can essentially, um, you know, see things from a mad distance to where he teleports. So that's the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna be on Twitch playing. Call of Duty new season just began today. Uh, my Twitch is in the chat right now. Um, GG's to Shanghai Barbie for the games. Uh, I should hopefully get to God rank next week, most likely. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll catch you all later over on Twitch. Peace.